What is up, you beautiful happy hustlers out there? Kerry Jack here, and I want to share with you how you can get in almost any room. This is a legit strategy to get into just about any room you want to be in. We're going to be diving into this episode of the Happy Hustle Podcast. Do you want blissful balance in your personal and professional life? Great. What's up, guys? My name is Kerry Jack, and I want to help you happy hustle a life you love, one full of passion, purpose, and positive impact. I'm a lifestyle entrepreneur, a professional model slash actor, a digital marketing specialist, a podcast host, author, a biohacker, an eco-warrior, a martial artist, a hippie cowboy, and a humanitarian. My goal is to educate, inspire, and entertain you to live a life of passion, purpose, and positive impact. It is time to happy hustle your dream reality. What is up, you beautiful happy hustlers out there? Kerry Jack here, and I hope you are having a super blessed day. And I want to share with you how you can potentially get into just about any room using this strategy. And this is something that I have used in the past successfully to get into rooms that I had truly no business being in. And it's something that you can do right now to get yourself connected and networking with people that you want to surround yourself with. Now, this is a quote that I recently heard, and I heard it recently from Grant Cardone, although someone else said it before him. He said, if you cannot get a seat at the table, serve water. So if you cannot get a seat at the table, serve water. This humbly states that you must sometimes start at the bottom and do whatever you can do to serve the person that you're looking to be in front of, to spend time with, to network, to do business with. Service is the secret to getting into just about almost any room. And I want to give you a couple examples of how this is actually possible and how you may be able to leverage this this perspective in order to grow your business, to increase your income and ultimately your impact so you can happy hustle a life that you love. So let me break it down for you. Okay, being of service to others. This is huge. You need to really figure out how you can best serve. I'm going to tell you when I was about, I don't know, 15, I started really getting into bartending and the service industry. Um, I was waiting tables before that, but you know, bartending and catering and serving in the hospitality industry is a great way to get in rooms that you really have no business being in. This is something I have done as almost like a side hustle when I was, you know, in my early, early teens, starting out as a bus boy, then getting into, you know, like the the prep and the, the more so the kitchen staff, but then getting front of house where I was um, waiting tables, bartending, etc. Then when I got into college, I really started bartending and, you know, kind of making a show of it, doing some like flair bartending, you know, blowing fire, throwing bottles, you know, having this type of extra skill and, and entertainment to the to the job title rather than just mixing drinks. I would, you know, legitimately shake drinks in like fun ways where I would be digging shovels with the shaker bottles, you know, or digging holes or, or fake canoeing or doing all sorts of fun stuff to entertain people. And that type of entertainment, that type of energy attracted other people to hire me as a bartender. And I would get in rooms because of my bartender skills that I really had no business being in. And, you know, I just was having fun. I got flown all around the world just to bartend, to do flair bartending. Um, I was also in the entertainment world, you know, acting and modeling. So that helped, you know, having um, that background of performance. But this is something that I use to get into just about whatever room that I wanted to and rooms that I really didn't even know I wanted to. You know, rooms like this, I can I think of this one wedding in, in the Hamptons in New York City, specifically where I met very high profile entrepreneurs that ended up wanting to invest in my company at the time. 
And this one bartending opportunity then went to the boardroom, you know, and I, I lived by this mantra, I don't care what uniform I have on, I'm going to be unapologetically myself. And so whether I had a suit on or whether I was, you know, wearing an apron, I still had that confidence and it allowed me to pitch myself and my business and, and to really try to serve these individuals in the highest capacity. So this is something that I use to get into these rooms. I'll give you an example. Another one, when I was at the Sundance Film Festival, my brother and I, we were working as kind of like VIP hosts for a private room party. And the founder um, of Sundance is Robert Redford, but the d- director and president um, was a guy named Cooper. And he was at the party and my brother and I pitched him and, and we really wanted to gain exclusive access to this a climate change talk that was happening later in the week. And this was like the most sought after event at Sundance because Al Gore was gonna be there, Robert Redford, Peter Thiel from PayPal, a bunch of really prominent people. And we ended up using um, you know, our charm to connect with this guy, Cooper, the director of Sundance at the time, and really you know, saw how we could serve him, entertain him. You know, We took care of him, we got him drinks, we got him extra swag when we were working this event that he was at. And then later you know, on in the week when it came time to uh, potentially go to that event, his assistant texted us and said that he could get us in. And he ended up giving us front row seats. We met Al Gore, Robert Redford, Peter Thiel, and all the people. And we got personally ushered in. And we looked like these very important people, even though we were basically just a hired help because we made ourselves of value to someone of higher status. And he gained us entry into this room that, again, we had no business being in. But we learned a lot. We got some amazing contacts from it. And the experience lives on. This is something, again, you need to think about for yourself, how you can get in any room. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Apologies for interrupting your programming. But I have to tell you, the best investment you can make in yourself is one in which helps you acquire skills. You've probably heard people talk about, oh, just invest in yourself and you'll be successful. Yes, that's true to a degree, but you have to invest in skills that will ultimately help you achieve your desired results. And I think one of the best skills one can possess, be it an entrepreneur or an aspiring entrepreneur, is the sales sword. Really knowing how to sell, utilizing pressure-free persuasion, which will make you more money and more impact. Now, if you want to know how to sell more efficiently and effectively, I just launched a sales course called the Proven Roadmap Process to Selling Millions of Dollars and Helping You to Increase Your Conversions Guarantee. And you can get access to this new sales course that The Happy Hustle is launching at thehappyhustle.com forward slash sales. And if you act fast, you'll get it at the lowest price it'll ever be available because we are launching it and we want to gain amazing testimonials and social proof to further share this knowledge. So if you act fast, you can get it at the lowest price it'll ever be. That's at thehappyhustle.com forward slash sales. Now let's get back to this episode. Be of service, serve water, start at the bottom, see how you can add value. I can give you another example. I met... um, Haim Saban, I didn't even know, uh, like this guy, it was his house at the time we were catering a party in LA. I I used to do catering gigs to supplement income and this guy saving films, you know, they created power Rangers and all sorts of huge, huge, huge productions. They're one of the most, um, prominent film companies in LA. And, you know, here I am having a conversation with Saban himself and, and, you know, that conversation then led to some opportunities and it just is so interesting by being in a room that you potentially didn't even know that existed you can foster new opportunities like never before same thing when i was in rio de janeiro i got into this really epic party at the pastana just because we knew one brazilian guy whose dad was the fire marshal and the fire marshal um, was able to get in past security and get us in to this epic party where Will Ferrell was at. And I was talking to Will Ferrell and hanging out with all these really cool people. 
And again, I don't say any of this stuff to brag or to like, you know, name drop. It's really just about the opportunities that you see oftentimes are in these rooms that you don't currently have access to. Same thing when you're going to a mastermind. I got into masterminds that I had no business being in because I was a mentee of someone who did have access. And this mentor of mine gave me a free ticket to go to, let's say, Traffic and Conversions, one of my first like digital marketing conferences. It was there where I literally pitched Kevin Harrington and I took a pee next to Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank. As I was peeing, I was pitching. So it's one of those things where you just kind of take your shot when you have a chance and you just get yourself in the rooms and make the most of those opportunities. This is just a concept more that I wanted to share with you when it comes to happy hustling a life that you love. You have to get into these rooms and do whatever it takes. But sometimes in order to get into those rooms, you have to check your ego out the door. You have to really just let yourself, you know, be the waiter or the bartender or the volunteer. I have volunteered at many of conferences just to get free access when I couldn't afford it. I send emails to the staff. I say, hey, I would love to volunteer. I'll, I'll stay up late. You know, I'll get up early. I'll stack chairs, whatever you need. I just want to be there. And oftentimes these people will give you free tickets if you just volunteer and have that can do attitude. And that's how you can get into just about almost any room out there. Obviously, there's some rooms that require, you know, a higher level of credit. Ability, I would say, uh, like the White House, you know, if you're going to get into the Oval Office, that's one room that you're probably going to need a little bit more uh, merit and credibility. But pretty much almost any room you can get in with this mentality of, hey, I can serve water. I can start at the bottom. I can volunteer my time. I can find a way to be of value to either the individuals in the room or to the event producers. I got into Lollapalooza completely for free just by um, this same, you know, Lollapalooza is like this big music conference in Chicago. The tickets are thousands of dollars and I got VIP tickets because I just helped by volunteering on the front end for a couple hours. You know, this is stuff now that I would just pay for now that I have money. But, you know, when I was younger and I didn't have money, I was just willing to do whatever it took. And that's the mentality. If you want a really happy hustle a life that you love, you have to have that um, that mentality of, okay, I'm going to check my ego at the door. I'm going to do whatever it takes to network, to be of service, to add value. And then when I do get in the room, I'm going to make the most of it. I'm going to take those opportunities and those chances to either promote myself and my business and, and, and take a shot at maybe creating some type of partnership. I will say caution, you know, timing is very important. Sometimes like if, if a very prominent person is sitting with their family and they're eating and you go up and try to pitch, like that's not a good time, you know, but sometimes you only get these small windows of opportunity. So you can't hesitate. These are just, you know, points in time where you'll have to use discretion. There's times where I've let really awesome people who I knew I could, you know, serve or are really, uh, they could help me. I just let those opportunities pass because ultimately it wasn't the right time. And, you know, you have to be okay with that too. But when you're attempting to get in almost any room, the big takeaway that I want you to just really embody is doing whatever it takes, serving water, adding value, and just finding that third door as my buddy, Alex Benayan, who wrote the third door, which was one of, um, the, most the internationally most best-selling books from the youngest author um most um best-selling business books and and he wrote all about how you can get into these different rooms and these different situations using that third door it's a good book we had him on the podcast if you want to check out that episode the happy hustle podcast and then type in alex benayan at, uh if you go to carryjack.com but anyway this is something Again, I don't need to, you know, belabor this point. This is just how you can get in just about almost any room. Again, leaving you with that quote, if you cannot get a seat at the table, serve water. And I thought this was really timely. I thought this was really powerful and I wanted to bring it to your awareness. This is how you can get into almost any room and how you can start to happy hustle your dream reality, both personally and professionally, that life of passion 
purpose and positive impact. I'm Gary Dag. Thank you so much for watching and listening. I so appreciate you. If you're on YouTube, please click the link to subscribe. And we do drop episodes every single week. So stay tuned for the next ones. And I will just do one shameless plug. If you like these concepts of happy hustling, a life that you love, you're going to enjoy reading this book here. My book, The Happy Hustle, 10 Alignments to Avoid Burnout and Achieve Blissful Balance. You can get it at thehappyhustlebook.com for free. All you got to do is just help out with shipping and handling. So check it out there, thehappyhustlebook.com. And anyway, I hope you start to get into just whatever room you want and, uh, Don't be afraid to serve water. Check your ego at the door and really start to be of value to those people that you wish to partner with and to surround yourself with. So that's it. Peace and love, everyone. I am out.